So, great six class, let us continue. Equations and graph. So, you all open your book for equations and graph. Yes. And turn to page number. Yes, turn to page number. 519. I want to explain you this again. I know I have done question three and four. I want to explain you this again and we'll do uh, question five and six once again today. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, see very carefully. I'm getting confused. What page again? It is page number 519. Yesterday I did some of it, but I want to explain it once again. Okay. Page 519, okay? Look at it very carefully. Now, they are giving you, like example, this is question number three, and I'm making a table of question number three. Okay? See here how I do it. And this is X, this is X, and this is Y, okay? Now, the first one is two comma one. That means X is two and Y is one. Four comma three, X is four, so Y is three. X is six, so Y is five. X is eight, so Y is seven. What is the relation two and one, four and three, six and five, eight and seven? What do you think? What is the relation between X and Y? For every X, one. Are you listening to me, girls? For every X, yeah. if I remove one, I'm getting a Y. Like example, two minus one, I get one. Now, next is four. 4 minus 1, I get 3. Next is 6. 6 minus 1, I get 5. Lastly, 8. 8 minus 1, I get 7. So what is it? X minus 1, if I do. X minus 1, if I do, I get a Y. X minus 1, I get Y. Did you understand this? Girls, did you understand this? Yeah. Yeah, miss. Sure. When I do X minus one, I get Y. That's why they ask us the linear equation. Looking at the graph, they ask you the linear equation. So it's Y equal X minus one. Even if you don't write, if this is same, both are same. Both are same. Even if you write this, it's correct. Even if you write this, it's correct. Now next. You can make any kind of table. Let me make the other one, how you are doing it. Okay. You know very well that you have X, you have X and you have Y. Okay. So when X is two, Y is one. Next, when X is four, Y is two. You see here X and Y, X and Y y is 2. When x is 3, 6, y is 3. When x is 8, y is 4. Half of 2 is 1, half of 4 is 2, half of 6 is 3, half of 8 is 4. So means if x, i, if x, i make it half, I get my y. Like example, two comma two, I get one. Four comma two, I get two. Six comma two, I get three. And eight over four, I get.
8 over 4, I get 2. 6 over 2, I get 3. So all these I get. So what is the relation between that? When I'm dividing x by 2, I get y. Or y equal x divided by 2. Or y equal x over 2. Did you understand this now? Yeah, a little bit. See, half, this is x and this is y. 2 comma 1. Yeah. This is x and this is y. x is half of y. Do you agree? x is half of y, yeah. If you do, you make x as half, that is 2 comma 2, you get 1, you get y. Do you agree to this? Now, example, 4 comma 2. If I do x over 2, if I do 4 over 2, I get 2, I get y. If I divide this by 2, I'm getting the answer as y. Now, this is 6 comma 3. When do I get 3? When I divide 6 over 2, so I get 3. When I divide x with 2, I get y. Now, similarly, I have 8 comma 4. What should I do to 8 to get 4? What should I do to 8 to get 4? I must divide it by 2 to get 4, right? If I divide, yeah. then only I will get 4. Then I'll get a value. That's why x divided by 2 or x over 2 gives me y. Or x divided by 2 gives me y. Or y equal x over 2. This is how I get the linear equation. Coming here to next one. No. Girls. First of all, learn how to make the table. Write down. You have to make the table by your own. Write down X and write down Y. Yes. What is Y? Then X and write down Y. What is Y? Y plus two, X plus one. Okay? Y is X plus one given. Now, they said you zero, zero, because see here, they gave you this graph, zero, two, four, six, eight. When x is zero, what is y? Zero plus one, it is one. Two plus one, why did I do two plus one? Because x plus one, two plus one, three. 4 plus 1, 5. 6 plus 1, 7. 8 plus 1, I get 9. So I have, I have, when I have, see, when x is 0, my answer is 1. When x is 2, what is my answer? 3. When x is 3, Sorry, not three. When x is four, they gave you next. Answer is five. When x is six, I have seven. When x is eight, I have nine. Now this you need to plot here. Zero is here, I got one. Two is here, three. When four, I have to have five. That is between four and six. When it is six, it has to be seven. When it is eight, it has to be nine. So please join the nine. I think yesterday you have joined it, right? Yeah. See how it is, girls. Firstly, you make the table. Then you write the order pairs. And then you put the points. This is the procedure. Now see, you have y equal 2x minus 1. Let me show you in the white screen. Yeah, y equal y equal 2x minus 1. My x is going bad. Please cooperate. <laughs> now, I make a table first. Okay. I make a table. These are my x. These are my y.
and these are my order pairs ordered pairs in the graph it is given 2468 0 2 4 6 8 10 come on let me substitute who said didn't understand malak yeah miss see malak this is a question this is the question given malak now you need to write x and you need to find out y I need to write x and I need to find out y. Now you will ask me, teacher, how, why did you write x is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8? I wrote this because, I'll tell you it. I wrote this because I have given, this graph is given to you and they wrote here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The x is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But you don't know why. Do you know why? No, you don't know why. So I wrote x, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Till here, did you get it, Smalak? Yeah, so we have to find what is y equal. Yes, how will you find? You will substitute this. You'll put x, I'll see, I'll copy, I'll copy y, I'll copy 2, instead of x, 0. 0 minus 1. I get minus one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, I get minus one. Now, they said leave the zero because I think in the graph they didn't give zero. Okay, anyways, next. Instead of x, what will I put this time? I'll put two. See, this is given two, right? I'll copy two. Instead of x, I'll put two. So I have four minus one, that is three. Now, pairs means 0 minus 1 because when x is 0, what do you get answer? Minus 1. When x is 2, what is the answer? What do you get? When x is 2, you get 3. When x is 4, I get 8 minus 1, that is 7. So when x is 4, I get 7. When x is 6, I get 12 minus 1, 11. I get 11. You got this? Or any confusion? Yeah, Mr. Malak, I just... Miss, can you repeat it? Yes. From where do you want me to repeat it? Uh, the one that you were just doing right now. See, yeah, Agalia. Yeah. The... I am... Why, why? See, that's what. How am I finding why? Like example, your x is 6. Application 2x. Miss, I want to ask a question. In the x, always we will put 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It depends upon the graph. They give you the graph. If they don't give the graph, you can put on your way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. Usually we choose 2, 4, 6, 8. X yes. is 6. How to find out y? I'll copy this. Y. This is y equal. This is given in the question. I'll copy 2. Instead of x, I'll put 6. And 6 is 12. Okay. So I get 11. So when x is 6, so I get. We have to get what is y equal. We have yes. to find yes. what is y. Yes. Okay. All the y's and make a pair. And this pair you need to put on the graph. Okay, miss. Now I got 2, 3, 4, 7, 6, 11. I got 2, 3. I got right here. What did I get here? I got 2, 3. Then with 4, 7. And I got 6, 11. So when it is 2, I got 3. When it is 4, I got 7. When it is 6, I got somewhere 11 like this. That's why you got a straight line. This is your answer.
Understood? Yeah, miss. Any questions? No, no miss. Thank you. See here, all is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 4 comma 4. That means x equal is y, x equal to y, or y equal x. You write the equation is y equal x, because both are same. If suppose it was 1 comma 2, like this, so you know that x is 1 and y is x plus 1. Why x plus 1? Because 1 plus 1 gives you 2, like that. But here both are same, x equal y and y equal x. So you got the answer as y equal x. Next. Yes. Again, these are tough questions. Miss, this is a new lesson, right? No, the yesterday. Or we're just reviewing. We are reviewing the yesterday's lesson. This is not okay. Try to do your homeworks and ask me if you have any questions tomorrow, okay? Okay. That's for today. Miss, did you uh, get, receive my homework? Yes, Because if not, I will send it again. No, no, I received. Me. Okay. Thank you, girls. Any questions you have regarding this lesson? No. 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 Thank you, Mr. So prepare well this week for your test coming up quiz, which is next week. You have math and science. Please, girls, prepare. Do you know which? Do you know which day? Tuesday is uh, math as always, and science is on Thursday. Math is what? Tuesday. And science. Okay. We will have three lessons in science and three lessons in math. I have given the lesson name in the group. And inshallah, by tomorrow, Ms. Wala will send you the weekly also. Okay, miss. Okay, girls, any other things you'd like to ask me? No, thank you, miss.